we present contrastive video textures. State-of-the-art GAN-based video generation methods such as MocoGAN produce low resolution outputs and struggle to match the realism of actual videos. For example, here we train MocoGAN on a 3 second video clip of a candle flame. Here is the output synthesized by MocoGAN. The synthesized output video is blurry and contains artifacts. On the other hand, here is the result using video textures, a non-parametric texture synthesis method from two decades ago. A video texture is an infinitely long, varying stream of images synthesized by stitching together snippets of an input video. The 3 second video clip of a candle flame shown earlier is converted into a 10 second clip by finding alternative plausible transitions in the source video to produce different yet dynamically consistent output videos. The red bar at the bottom indicates the part of the source video that's being played. Classic video textures uses Euclidean pixel distance as a similarity metric between frames. This causes it to fail for less constrained videos containing irregularities and chaotic movements. For example, given this video of a person playing a ukulele, a classic method produces a video with jarring transitions. We introduce contrastive video textures, a method that uses learned feature representations and a distance metric to compare frames and produces a smooth video with seamless transitions. The red bar at the bottom indicates the part of the source video that's being played. Here is another example. Classic video textures completely fails to find good transitions. On the other hand, our method synthesizes a realistic video with smooth transitions. We extend contrastive video textures to an audio conditioned video synthesis task. Given a long source video, We synthesize a new video that matches the conditioning audio. Here is another result. The video shown is synthesized to match the conditioning audio.
Here are the baseline results for the same. Visual rhythm and beat warps the video to match the beats of the conditioning audio, but as seen, the video and audio are not synchronized. Random replay overlays the conditioning audio on a random section of the input video. However, we observe that the audio and video are misaligned. We add audio conditioning to the classic video textures algorithm. As seen, it fails to produce a smooth output. Here are more results of unconditional video texture synthesis. The input is a 30 second long video of a flag blowing in the wind. Here is the output texture synthesized by our method. Here is another example. Here are more results from the audio conditioned video synthesis where the video is synthesized to match the conditioning audio. Thank you.